How do you feel about, um, so you know, um, I don't know if it's still a thing now, I'm pretty sure labels have sort of cracked down on it, but a few months ago, I was seeing a lot of like leaks that would pop up from my like, Yeet, and people who are not associated with Yeet team, like some random 16 year old would like figure out how to game the system, and he would like get content ID for that like leak, and he would like take the revenue from that. How do you feel about stuff like that? Do you think it's like, uh, you think labels are cracking down on or is that like a low key a method or? <laughs> Honestly, I wish that I was a 16 year old and I figured out some way to <laughs> finesse shit. Cause I feel like, not that my life's hard cause it's not, but I definitely took the hard route. Like there are people scamming and, you know, just getting credit oh, cards online yeah. and shit. Like it's, their life is so easy. Um, yeah. So it definitely is like, yeah. you know, a like, difficult job um but wait let me answer your question so the gaming of the system yes like the d uh the copyright id so what they do is they go through like a bootleg uh or like a non primary independent distributor and then they do the youtube id button and then yeah they can claim mm -hmm. wasn't there one one company or one person who like went to jail for basically defrauding like tens or hundreds of millions of dollars on YouTube like recently. Did you um, see that? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of cases. I know. Um, are you talking about? There was a dude that did it with Blizzard, the company, like that gaming company for um or not Blizzard. It was um you know Destiny, the game Destiny, like the yeah. Shooter. a few months ago there was a dude who do that he pretended to be like he pretended he was the company and he was stealing money from all these creators and these creators were like threatening to sue destiny and they're like whoa like what are you guys talking about and then there more, more recently there was um he was saying this that might to be play like, my game on content you have to give me money yeah oh, okay go on they sorry and YouTube was like so stupid, they like actually, they just believed them. Now this was a long time ago. Obviously I feel like YouTube probably, maybe you, you never really know, maybe they stepped their game up. But yeah, he was just like, yo, I'm uh, whoever makes Destiny, I'm like on their behalf and I need all the money from these videos. And they're like, oh yeah, sure. But uh, more recently, the streamer, I show speed. Now this is a little more controversial and I'll give you my thoughts on this. There was this uh, YouTuber named The Act Man, and he has like a video with like a million views, basically accusing uh, Speed of being like a copyright abuser. And um, <clears throat> basically, to summarize it, Speed used the company to, um, you know, those reaction channels that just like react to uh, clips of Speed, or they'll like just post like funniest ISO Speed moments. He hired a company to copyright and take the revenue from those type of creators and basically there was like a, a huge drama calling him like a copyright abuser <laughs> personally this is how i feel about it most of the channels he was copywriting were like plug channels right and if you know anything about the majority of plug channels most of them are not really affiliated with the creator they don't really transform the content so in my personal opinion, even though I'm, I'm not really rocking with speed for like- It is copyright infringement. Reasons, like it, it's not fair use because they didn't transform the clip. They didn't do anything different. They just upload, like they, they literally steal his content and they're able to like monetize it in some cases and they're not transforming it at all. It's not even like a reaction. Now you can argue that like reaction channels don't do anything. They just kind of sit there but I feel like that's more of a case by case basis. It depends on like, you know, if they're actually, they're yeah. like, ha ha, that's so funny. There you are know? reaction channels that actually give their input. Like, uh, like when I react to shit, I try to actually give some input. Yeah, like I, I would say you, for example. Yeah, cause you definitely, you don't just like watch the video just go, oh yeah, I agree, ha ha. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole discussion. Some reaction channels, they just kind of sit there though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, more, more sure. not even channels, more sure like streamers. They li that literally just, oh, let's react to funny clips. Ah, ha ha, this was so funny. It's so funny, I like stuff like that. But yeah. in my opinion, I feel like he was well within his right. C plug channels literally don't do anything but just take content from streams and just like 
you know, they'd be like, I show speed, uh, gayest moments or something. That's not fair use. He deserves the revenue from that. That's literally his content. That's how I feel about the situation. But yeah, there's two definitely is a, there's two things I think. So one plug channels. I mean, I get what you're saying and I agree about it. It's not it's not or it is copyright infringement because they're not transforming the content. However, sometimes plug channels do help the creator, especially when it's almost like content that they're not going to post. Now, yeah. should they be cons compensated for that? Probably not. Um, I feel like plug channels well, were kind of a thing of the past, though. Like your rage, you know your rage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your rage. Right. He came up as a plug channel, and then he turned into a streamer. But uh, secondly, I, I feel think like they, they call him something different now. But the channels that um, that the dude was talking about in the video. They're, you know, they might not call themselves plug channels, but literally all they do is just post like, I show speed, best moments, volume set, like volume 17, like stuff like that. So technically I would consider that a plug channel in general. It's just not really transformative. But also some of these channels get, some of these channels are literally just the creator though. Like the, the team will just make a, um, like a channel that just shows all of his funniest moments. They'll post it as like a, a YouTube short and it'll get a bunch of views. Some of that stuff, you, you never really know. It's the plug channels low key sometimes be getting more views than like the actual creator though. Yeah. Have you noticed well, that? That's kind of a tricky thing too. Um, Cause that's definitely happened. For example, again, with your rage, like I've seen a few years ago when I was watching your rage, there would be like plug channels where the video had like a hundred K and you his version of the video only got like 60 or 70 K. So that's definitely like a tricky situation. I don't yeah. know if that's like a huge problem now though. Like who would you say that that's a huge problem with? Um, I don't really pay attention to streamers like that too much. So I don't even know, but no. I guess like academics sometimes. I could see that. Yeah. Like there will be plug channels to be like academics talks like Playboy Cardi doing some shit and then it'll have way more views than like his actual channel. Yeah, because they because they're I, like almost better at titling and doing thumbnails than him sometimes. I think specifically like, you know, who AMP is right. Like that whole group. Yeah, yeah. Like um, creators like now you could argue this is just because they're kind of like smaller creators in the group, but cre people like Agent and Phantom, I've seen like videos that are just like from their stream and they'll upload it and it'll get like 200 or 300 K. And then I go to like their actual channel and their videos aren't doing that much. And at that point, um, you think it's, it's kind of weird because that means it's not like, it's not really like translating attention back to their channel. Or like their, but is it translating their, uh, it to their 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 live their live stream? Yeah, you would think that. I, I I assume it would. Maybe I would have to like look at their um like whatever they stream on. Hold on, plugging myself up real quick. But yeah, I would have to look at whatever they're streaming on and like see um that I guess. But overall, but, I think this Axe Man dude's kind of kind of just doing it for content because he could have easily just disputed it and been like this was fair use i significantly well i don't think the he, content. he wasn't affected though so you could kind of argue that he was kind of doing it to maybe he's like like a white knight because he he didn't oh. even get copyrighted i don't think oh my god Dude. sometimes aiden's channel be doing that to me but i never once do i assume it's him like like yeah. these people don't got time for that shit you know, like um, it's, it's going to be their management or somebody they hire an agency to do that shit. It's not Aiden's not going or speed is not going on their YouTube going. I don't even know how as a YouTuber to copyright claim somebody. Yeah, it sounds like a very complicated process. I feel like this video specifically is very weird to me because out of all of the controversy controversies um, that people like speed and Aiden have. He chose this and it's like the weakest argument to make against them is that like they're copyright abusers because you could you could easily just argue you know like again hey this isn't even like 
fair use. <laughs> like if you went through speed, like if we went through Speed's channel right now, we could find like 15 clips. And if we posted them on Twitter, Twitter would just go crazy. Like they would literally be like having a, a mental breakdown. Like, I right. don't know, this video just kind of seems performative to me. Well, what type of channel, do, like what does he do? He just uh, talks admin? gaming? Uh, it's like gaming, but it's like more controversial. It's like, he just calls like games trash, stuff like that. So he's like you, but like with music. Yeah, like with gaming basically. <laughs> Basically, yeah. That wasn't There's supposed like to be a, a diss. You know, kind of like, um, you know, like the whole video essay wave. Yo, I He's fucking kind of like, hate that like, shit. I fucking yeah. hate that. Like when people make like a forty-minute video to talk about like a, a fucking superhero movie or like a game. That's basically what he does. I see. Yeah. No, I mean, I even tried that, and I was like, I literally hate these videos. Like, hate making them. They take three weeks to make. I'd rather just talk I, shit online. It's funner to it's funner to like start discussions and like argue and stuff. Cause I feel like like what do you really get out of watching like a video like oh how opium is so influential part fifty? Like I see so many of those videos and it's just like they just kind of say the same thing over and over again. Exactly. Like, some point, like and when you're so deep in it as a fan, you already know all the facts that they're gonna say yeah so that that's it's just basically I, yeah. like they just skim reddit and then they um 